Hello, my fellow thinkers and seekers of wisdom, and welcome to Quotable Skeptic. I am your content creator, and before we dive into our video, I'd like to share something unique about this space. I craft articles on atheist quotes and also share my own thoughts with the assistance of ChatGPT. But Quotable Skeptic isn't just your ordinary channel. Here, you'll find a perspective driven by curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. I'm an atheist and a disabled person with cerebral palsy, which affects my ability to speak properly and use my hands. Nevertheless, I can still operate my computer, phone, and other devices using my toes. I rely on my family for assistance, and unfortunately, I never had the opportunity to attend school due to the fact that most schools in India do not admit individuals who are completely dependent on others. Hence, you are hearing AI voices in my videos. So, together, we'll explore the world of atheism, philosophy, and critical thinking. It's a journey of discovery and reflection, guided by the belief that intellectual pursuit knows no bounds. I'm excited to have you with me on this path of exploration. Let's dive into our next thought-provoking topic on Quotable Skeptic. Before we delve into our video article, it's essential to acquaint ourselves with the life and ideas of Thomas Paine, Thomas Paine, 1737-1809, an English-born American, left an indelible mark on history as a writer, political activist, philosopher, theorist, and revolutionary. His most renowned works include Common Sense, 1776, and The Rights of Man, 1791, both of which had a profound impact on the American and French revolutions, respectively. Notably, Poine was a staunch advocate for atheism and deism. In his influential book The Age of Reason, 1794, Poine articulated arguments against the existence of God, asserting that the only true theology is morality. He also openly criticized organized religion, viewing it as a corrupt and oppressive institution. Paine's views on religion stirred controversy in his time, but they have gained greater acceptance in the subsequent centuries. The question of whether Paine was an atheist remains a subject of debate among scholars. Some contend that he was a deist, subscribing to the belief in a creator God who does not interfere in the universe. Others argue that he leaned towards agnosticism, holding that the existence of God is unknowable. Nevertheless, there is no doubt that Paine vehemently opposed organized religion and the belief in a supernatural being. Here's a quote from Paine's book The Age of Reason that encapsulates his perspective. My own mind is my own church. This statement underscores Paine's belief in the individual's right to shape their religious convictions independently, free from the influence of organized religion. Title The Futility of Reason in the Face of Religious Dogma in the realm of rationality and free thinking, the words of Thomas Paine continue to echo with a somber truth. Paine, a formidable intellect of the Enlightenment era, understood the frustrating impasse one reaches when attempting to reason with those who have entirely surrendered themselves to religious dogma. His piercing insight sheds light on a perennial struggle between reason and faith, and the inherent challenges it poses to those who seek to engage in constructive dialogue with the deeply devout. An immovable object, when reason meets dogma. Pine's analogy of administering medicine to the dead aptly captures the futility of trying to inject reason into a mind firmly entrenched in religious dogma. Just as medicine has no effect on the deceased, reason appears powerless against an unwavering religious belief that dismisses skepticism. It is akin to a Sisyphean task, an endeavor that appears Herculean but ultimately proves futile. Scripture and the Atheist, a hopeless endeavor. Paine also draws a poignant parallel between arguing with a dogmatic believer and attempting to convert an atheist through scripture. In both cases, the attempt is unlikely to yield the desired results. 
A true atheist, by definition, does not base their worldview on religious texts, and thus employing scripture as a means of persuasion becomes a paradoxical exercise. Similarly, trying to reason with a fervent believer who has transcended the bounds of reason is an exercise in frustration. A perennial struggle, reason versus faith. Pinus' words offer a timeless reflection on the struggle that continues to unfold between reason and faith. While they do not explicitly condemn religion, they cast a light on the challenges that arise when dialogue and discourse are stifled by unwavering dogma. The clash of these two worlds persists, a never-ending tussle that stretches across centuries. In the end, Pinus' words serve as a stark reminder that, in the arena of religious conviction, reason alone may fall short. Yet, they also underscore the value of respectful dialogue, for it is through such discourse that we can hope to bridge the chasm between reason and faith and foster mutual understanding. While Pinus' sentiment may appear negative, it calls for an acknowledgement of the complexity that exists when reason meets religious dogma. What we can learn from this article? This article delves into the timeless struggle between reason and religious dogma, drawing inspiration from the words of Thomas Paine. Key takeaways include 1. Clash of worlds, the clash between reason and unwavering faith often results in a sense of contempt, not as a natural trait of devout believers but as a byproduct of deep convictions. 2. Immovable dogma, reason may seem powerless when confronted with rigid religious dogma, akin to administering medicine to the deceased. Engaging with unyielding beliefs can be a futile endeavor. 3. Pointless endeavors, Pinus insights highlight the futility of trying to convert atheists using scripture, as true atheists do not base their worldview on religious texts. Similarly, attempting to reason with dogmatic believers who transcend reason can be a vexing task. 4. Timeless struggle, the conflict between reason and faith endures, spanning across centuries and emphasizing the need for respectful dialogue as a bridge between these two realms. 5. Complexity of the discussion. While Pinus' sentiment may seem pessimistic, it underscores the complexity of engaging in discussions where reason encounters religious dogma, emphasizing the importance of promoting mutual understanding through respectful dialogue. As we come to the end of this insightful journey, I want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of Quotable Skeptic. Your curiosity and engagement mean the world to me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. And remember, sharing is caring. If you found value in our discussions, sharing this channel with your fellow truth seekers would be greatly appreciated, and for those who have been with us from the beginning and those who have just joined, thank you for being a part of this incredible community. Your support makes the pursuit of knowledge and critical thinking all the more rewarding until we meet again, stay curious, stay rational, and always keep seeking the truth. This is Quotable Skeptic, signing off.